what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be back on the no money spent squad we sold our best three players but i'm going to show you what we're doing to upgrade the squad now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching around youtube for what 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it. it's been a while since i updated you guys and the market's kind of back and forth crazy right now super bowl promo just came out i sold my best three cards last night and I'll explain why. So let's talk about it. We sold three Super Bowl cards. Hopefully I can show you exactly what we did because sometimes when you go to my auctions, it doesn't actually show you, but it did here. So uh, my three best cards, Shervarius Ward, Champ Bailey, Andre Reed, they are all up in price right now. At least they were last night. I'm going to double check the pricing now, but you can see we sold basically all three of them for over 500,000 coins. We are now below a million, but that's because I've been purchasing some pieces to make an upgrade at quarterback. And I'm actually Actually going to be selling my fourth best player as well in Tom Brady who's our current QB right now basically what happened a couple days ago is the training variety pack expired and typically when there is a TVP in stores the market is up because people want training for it and they want to keep opening it and in sometimes in some cases it can be a good method to make coins when the TVP leaves like it did a couple days ago the market generally goes down so with the anticipation that the TVP was leaving because everybody knew it was a lot of people sold off their mutt teams and figured they're going to be able to buy them back the next day or whenever the tvp left and uh basically make coins off of it or save themselves coins and i think what's happening i was not one of those people i only really recommend doing that on the blitz promo uh for a couple reasons with the blitz promo we pretty much know time in and time out that the market's going to crash and it's mainly because there's a bunch of different pack offers and within those pack offers it's basically putting more cards into circulation more cards are on the market so it's easier to go back and buy those cards that you may be sold in anticipation versus now basically all the people that sold their teams are now trying to buy back the same cards and everybody else is trying to buy back you know the cards that everybody wants and there's no new packs in circulation that are putting those cards back in to the market to add to it so there's not as much of a, a, a supply as there is normally like when the blitz promo comes out because those new packs those packs are people spending their money on are creating more supply and, and the demand here is crazy right now for these these playoff cards Cards, and that's why they went so much up in price these cards were roughly about 350k the other day so I'm going to price check them because I kind of do want to get those cards back on the team, but instead of selling my team before the TVP left, I did it after, and we're actually kind of making out here. So we're going to go 96 overall. We're going to go program playoff, and definitely the two that I want back more than anything are going to be Ward and Champ. So Champ is still, I mean, it's about 50K less than he was last night. Uh, Ward went down as well. They're starting to creep down, and with tomorrow being Saturday, 97 overall Legends coming out we could see the market start to trend downward some more a lot of people have been asking me pop when should i buy my team back honestly i don't know and here's some thinking right i wouldn't be surprised i'm not saying it's guaranteed to happen let me check uh the pricing on andre reed by the way he's you know they all went down about 50k but it feels like at this point last night i made the right decision to sell I wouldn't be surprised if EA sneaks the TVP back in Saturday, right? Because they put it out for like a five-day span last Saturday when Legends came out, and then they took it away, and it's not crazy to think that they didn't put it back yesterday because we got four Super Bowl LTDs in packs, and if the TVP's out, then you can get those out of that, and those cards are pretty expensive right now. It wouldn't be surprising to me if they put the TVP back in the stores tomorrow after those four Super Bowl LTDs are out of pack. So if they do, those people that sold their team could be really SOL. So we'll have to wait and see kind of how all of that plays out. So I've told you that I sold basically the best three players on my team. And number four is going. So Tom Brady, I still think 
is a really great budget option at QB. I mean, he can get Set Feet Lead, Hot Rot Master, Gunslinger for three AP. That's a steal. But now that we have Russell Wilson came out and we got the Lamar Jackson, Matty Ice, there are a lot of really, really good quarterbacks out there. And I think one of the best, if not top three to top five, and Mark Brunel is getting a lot cheaper because of that. Being that this Tom Brady card is an LTD, essentially, uh, we're gonna be able to either sell it for about 400K if it's going for that price point, or we can just quick sell it and take the 350,000 coins. So we're getting rid of our, our quarterback. We're getting rid of the best player or the most important player on our team, but we do have pretty much all the pieces that we're gonna need to go ahead and get this Mark Brunel set done and fully powered up to get a, take advantage of the discounted abilities. And it's gonna cost us one more AP, I believe, because we need set feet lead and we need hot route master. We don't need gunslinger since he has slinger one release, but I consider this an upgrade for our our no money spent squad for sure so we got a few things in order to do here number one let's get rid of tom brady recoup some of the coins that we basically just spent getting this mark brunel upgraded and, and doing the set and all that he is going for slightly over 400k so be with the quick sell value it actually makes more sense to try to sell him it's not that much of a difference but if we can get him for about 410k somebody buy him at that price uh that's gonna like i said recoup a lot of the coins that we spent on the brunel the most important or most expensive piece to complete his set was the 94 overall card which costs a slightly under 400k so i don't want to say it's almost a wash but we're definitely get an upgraded quarterback for uh, not a lot of coins so let's go over to item sets we're going to go to legends and we're going to complete the set for the brunel finish powering him up and then we will have a brand new quarterback we got to then kind of circle back here and open up some free packs that we have earned from the playoff promo that i've been holding on to to see if maybe we can use them to make upgrades and other pieces and eventually we got to add back two more corners and a wide receiver don't know if we're going to be able to do it in this video but we definitely have to do it eventually to replace those players that we sold so here we go we got the 94 and the 96 brunel let's head on over to our lineup now and fully power him up this seems to be kind of a natural cycle this year that every time i get rid of a quarterback to upgrade on my main team the player that I got rid of for that upgrade, I usually add to no money spent. Like we had Tom Brady as our QB on the main team. Soon as we got rid of him, then we added him on this squad. We just got rid of Mark Brunel on the main team for Russell Wilson. And now we're adding Mark Brunel on the no money spent squad because, you know, these cards are still really good. They get cheap because people like me want the shiny new items. And then, you know, if you're a no money spent player, you can go back and save yourself some, some coin by buying these cards that might not be brand new, but are still very, very good on the field the ability combination that i'm going to go with here is going to be hot route master and then set feet lead it's going to cost me a total of four ap i thought it was five for some reason but i think that's because brady costs three this one's four i knew it was a one ap difference i knew that because i'm good at math so there we go we have a brand new quarterback on no money spent and i still think one of the best qbs in the game we really really need a new wide receiver this is where we had andre reed stefan diggs is just there so i can play solo challenges but even you know replacing him we got the free fred blitnikoff quez watkins is really just fast we need some better wide receivers for sure if we want to be competitive. Offensive line might be able to use an upgrade on the left and right tackles over there. And on defense, I mean, it's disgusting. I have a Cowboy player in there right now because we had to get rid of Champ. We got rid of Ward, so we really need to make some upgrades at cornerback as well. Once that Tom Brady sells, we should be somewhere around like 1.3, maybe 1.4 million, which still puts us in a good situation. Uh, do we hang on a couple days and hope that the Champ and the Ward and the Andre Reed cards continue to go down and maybe get down to like 350 375 400k we can do that and go buy them back but then we're going to exhaust all of our coins or do we go out and buy some budget wide receivers and corners to get us by until you know the next potential cards kind of tank down the price on the playoff cards we'll have to see but for now let's go ahead and open up a couple free packs before we get out of here I honestly don't know who I'm going to go with. We have two of these 93 overall BND playoff hero fantasy packs. I think both of them are from the playoff field pass, which I still have not maxed out. And we still have one more 93 to earn that's going to be a non BND. So we can take coin from it. We can put it on the team. We'll figure out what we're going to do here. But uh, if we scroll through the lineup, I have to say that the best option for this team 
out of these cards doesn't look, really look like it's going to be there. I mean, maybe we go Shaq Griffin and he can be a budget option at QB for the moment. Tyron Smith would definitely be an upgrade at left tackle, but it's kind of against my religion to have, you know, Cowboy players on there, especially players who have only played for the Cowboys in their career. So I think I'm going to have to go Shaquille Griffin. He's just going to be a stopgap for now at that cornerback position, uh, but that's going to be an upgrade compared to the Trayvon Diggs that's in there right now. And then we have one other pack. I think this one should should contain more than just those first round options or part one options from the playoff promo. Let's open it up. Yeah, it looks like we have a lot more to pick through here, but I don't know if any of these are going to help me out. Let's scroll through them. Yeah, I'm looking through them. I can't say I'm in love with any of these picks like Fabian Moreau. We already have on the team because he's really, really fast, so we can't go there. We got Quez on the team. I think we do another budget option here and go MVS, which is a six foot four wide receiver with decent speed. So that's going to fill, you know, the, the need to replace right now for a very brief moment, Andre Reed. And we went with the cornerback position with Shaq Griffin there. So we kind of made up for the players that we sold. I definitely need better players, but at least we have a more of a healthy coin stack by using these budget options. So here is the assembled roster. I think the skill position players on offense and defense, we really, really need to make some upgrades. And we're going to do that next video. Super budget friendly guys right now. Dave, Casper should be re replaced eventually by the season three Rob Gronkowski whenever we get to unlock that on defense Mar Mar uh, Fabian Moreau Deion Sanders Shaq Griffin all need to go but hopefully they can hold us down for a little while really still like my safeties a lot uh, defensive line I think is pretty good linebackers barely see the field so I'm not too concerned about them uh, but there is the team now let's really quickly before we get out of here talk about what's to come we should have about 1.3 closer to 1.4 mil to spend if you guys want to leave some suggestions on maybe who I go out there and buy to upgrade those skill position players let me know but if I look at the field passes we do have some kind of light at the end of the tunnel because with the season three field pass we just mentioned the Gronk card. When we hit level 41, we're going to get Ed Reed, and he's going to be very helpful to replace one of those free safeties on the squad. So we have that going for us. Also, as I mentioned earlier, we still haven't maxed out the playoff field pass. Once we do that, we get another 93. More than likely, I'll be selling that card so I can make some coin back or maybe completing one of those playoff champion sets to get back an Andre Reed or Ward or Champ Bailey, one of those players that I sold eventually because that would give, me, give us one-fifth of what we need to complete one of those sets and then finally we have the brand new well i shouldn't say finally we got the competitive pass we're pretty far behind so we're gonna really have to grind this weekend but we can get ourselves a new pass rusher uh with this amari barno card 95 speed he's absolutely extremely fast Good block shed on his card as well, and I think finesse move. So we'll get some help on defense with that card. And it looks like the Brady just so looks like we're right under 1.3 mil. And then, of course, we have the Super Bowl promo. So we got House Rules is going to give us a 94 overall card. As we progress through this, we're going to be getting those ring fragment collectibles that are going to give us a plus one speed and acceleration upgrade on any Super Bowl cards on the roster. And with one coming from House Rules and then three more 94s from this field pass, I think we can get some really good budget options from both part one and the upcoming part two of the Super Bowl promo. So we're going to be budgety for a while. We're going to have to grind house rules with some cards that we might not necessarily want on the team, but until the market tends to go down on those playoff cards, that's the squad we're rocking with. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.